Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to show you how to avoid using a Microsoft username and password when doing a fresh installation of Windows 11. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to install Windows 11 and actually how to bypass Microsoft trying to force you to use a Microsoft account to set up your Windows device, which a lot of us don't want to do, especially if you're building a system maybe to flip or to sell on, and or maybe you just want some form of anonymity. So best thing to do, watch this video and you'll find out exactly how it's done. I've got a PC just behind me now, which I'm just doing a quick setup of Windows 11. Now this is Windows 11 as of November 2022, so this is version 22H2. And I've got the USB stick installed, ready to go, ready to do the install. So I'm gonna do this actually in real time, but I may well speed up some segments, obviously, if they're not relevant. So let's get on with it. Okay, so we're gonna go through the usual things. So we're gonna choose install now, choose our languages, etc. This drive actually has a Windows installation on, so I'm gonna quickly remove that. And we're gonna choose Windows 11 Pro. Agree to the terms, and we will do a customized install. So basically, I'm just going to delete all these partitions. So there's our bare drive, so we'll click on Next. Okay, so now we're into the main setup. So we're going to choose our region. We are United Kingdom, and we'll stick with this for our layout for the keyboard. Don't want to add a second one, so we can skip this. And now we get to name our device. So I'm going to, this is an Intel system, so I'm going to call it Intel. So we're going to set this up for personal use. And now we come up to this. So this is the part where you probably want to skip it, but sadly you can't. So unlock your Microsoft experience. Uh, we'll click on Sign In. Now at this point, you may or may not need to remove your Ethernet cable. I've currently got mine connected, but we'll try it anyway. So at the sign-in box, what you want to type in is no at thanks.com. So no at thanks.com and click next. And enter a password, which is no thanks. I think I did that wrong. No thanks. There we go. You click on there, you can see if you put it in right or not. So yeah, no thanks. And click on sign in and it'll say someone uh, has entered an incorrect password and it's locked your account blah 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 click on next and then you can just type in a name so we'll type in uh, spark so this is the game max spark case and we can enter a password if you want to i'm going to leave it blank and there you go we can carry on with the rest of setup without having to use a microsoft account how awesome is that obviously at this point now you can choose uh, to kind of disable as much as possible of the kind of telemetry stuff which is going on. Just click on no for pretty much most of that. Then it's gonna check for updates and uh, we should have a reboot and be into Windows proper. So there you go, there is how to bypass the Microsoft password on Windows 11. If you're setting up Windows 11 Pro, works with home as well. You may or may not need to actually disconnect your ethernet jack. As I said, in this particular instance, I left mine connected and it's absolutely fine. So the key to this is the uh, username and password, which is no at thanks.com and the password no thanks. I think that sends quite a clear message to Microsoft, don't you? Anyway, hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, hit the subscribe button and the chime notification. Maybe you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.